Hello guys, welcome back. This is a set eight of a probability we are going to do. Already we have done one more set on the probability for set seven. Go and check it out if you have not yet checked it. Then come back to a question number one. They're saying the number of selected at a random first, first 70 natural numbers. What is the chance that is a multiple of either five or 14? I will give you a simple trick. That is probability means favorable outcome by total outcome. From total 70 natural numbers, what is the multiples of 5 and 14 they are asking? R condition they are asking. Okay. R condition means you need to add it. Okay. And you need to remove the common multiples. Take a calculator. Do what I say. 70 divided by 5. 70 divided by first 5. You will get 14 times. 14 into 5 equal to 70. So 14 numbers is going to appear. Then 70 divided by 14, if you put it, you will get 5. Then common. If you multiply, how I can find out the common values, take the value 14, multiply by 5, you will get 70. 70 is only repeated in 14 table also, 5 table also. So that is the only one element. So 7, 1. So the formula will be 14 plus 5 minus 1. So it is going to be 18. What is your total outcome? Total outcome is 70. So 80 by 70 is nothing but 9 by 35. So your answer is option D, none of this. Okay. From the deck of 52 cards, two cards are drawn at random. Fine. What is the probability that they are the king and the queen? And the drawn and condition is there. So you need to multiply it. If the cards are drawn one after another without replacement. Let's say I have 52 cards. From the 52 cards, I have picked one card. That card can be a king card or queen card. So what I will do from a 52 gets of one deck, I will first take the card. At the time of first taking the card, I have my total cards of 52. From that, I have a probability to choose four cards, four king cards. I need to choose one. So it is 4C1. 4C1 is what? Four. Multiply by. Again, I will keep that card set aside. And I will take one more one more possibilities. From four queens, I can choose one queen. So from four queens, 4C1. Then, if I see my total deck of cards, it is only 51, right? This is king power. This is queen. This is possible. And another way is also possible. I Shall I also make it queen king? So, what I can do? Simply doing this, I will simply multiply by 2. So, the answer is option B. Now, question number 3. Listen to this question. This is a very most important question. Odds in favor of an event is 2 by 3. Odds against this of an another event is 3 by 7. 3 is to 7. Find the probability that one of the two events occurs. One of the two events occurs means P of A happened, P of B dash should only happen. P of B A dash has happened, P of B should happen. So, whenever it is odds in favor, you will use the formula A divided by A plus B for P of A. So, whenever they ask odds against, you will do the formula P of B is equal to B divided by A plus B. B divided by A plus B. Same way, P of A dash is equal to, you will first find out P of A. What is the P of A value? 2 by 5. What is P of B? That is, this is A, this is B. So it is B divided by A plus B. So it is 7 by 10. We will substitute in the formula. So we will substitute in the formula. It is 2 by 5. P of B dash is equal to nothing but 3 by 10. Okay, 3 by 10. This will be a one set. Plus what is P of B? It is 7 by 10 into what is P of A dash? It is nothing but 3 by 5. Right? There's nothing but 3 by 5. So if I put it, what is the value? In simple, I will get 6 by 50 plus 21 by 50. Don't cancel it. Simply add the numerator, the denominator is the same. So it is 27 by 50. My answer is option A. Simple. Then we will go to fourth one. A, B, C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. The formula direct property is P of A plus P of B plus P of C is equals to 1. So answer is option B. Question number 5. If the cards are drawn at random at a pack of 52 cards, what is the chance of getting years paid or an ace? If it is an R condition, you need to add it. 
or in simple if i want to say it in sets language it is union so if i have 52 cards what is the opportunity to get the spade spade is getting an opportunity of 13 spade cards will be in the deck and what is the, how many yes cards will be there the yes cards will be 14 sorry yes cards will be four yes cards will be there out of which one card is common because spade in that spade we are having a yes right a so we need to subtract the one whole divided by 52 if you put 17 minus 6 1 divided by 52 it is 16 by 52 if you cancel you will get an option of option a that is 4 divided by 13 so that's it with set 8 if you want this pdf go and check it out in the description below we are having app just download it go to the free session in that you will get this pdf thank you have a nice day